Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing very well. This week's video is kind of a second part to a video I did quite a while ago to be honest and I am talking about my foot surgery video. I had a lot of people asking me how I was doing nowadays in the comments under the first video I did and I thought well it has been a year since I did the surgery so I think now is a great time to just give a quick update and that is basically what we're doing today. So for all of you who haven't seen my first video I had bunion surgery on my left foot. I had my big toe and my small toe done. If you want to have more information about the surgery and the procedure and like the first few weeks and months you should better go and check out my first video on that topic but if you have seen the first one um, you are very welcome to stay and <laughs> listen to what I'm going to say but before I get into the actual video I just really quickly wanted to say thank you the response to my first video was enormous. There were so many comments and a lot of people just shared their personal stories in the comments down below and it was it was so emotional for me and I tried to answer every single comment. A lot of people said that the video was helpful to them and that really made me happy because that was the intention. So yes I'm very happy that the video turned out to be what I intended for it to be just a video to give comfort and to educate. So thank you so much to everyone who watched this video, to everyone who left a like and to everyone who left a comment. I am very grateful. So that being said, we are gonna jump right into the video now and just talk about how I've been doing. For this video, I decided I would just talk like talk away. I don't have a certain structure to the video, I just wanted it to feel very natural as if I'm talking to friends basically um, and just sharing what has happened in the past, oh god, um, 10 months <laughs> since I did my last video. So first of all, how am I doing? Um, I am doing very well. I have actually been to a doctor quite recently like a month ago to get my foot checked out. I was a bit a tiny bit worried because the flexibility of my toes hasn't quite gone back to what it used to be so I was a bit worried about what the doctor had to say to me but he said no everything is great we did an x-ray everything looks good everything has healed up very well and my toes are still quite straight <laughs> so the bunion hasn't come back. As I said I still feel like my toes haven't regained their full flexibility yet. Um, for example I'm still struggling with doing lunges when I'm working out but I have recently um, tried doing them and I am able to do lunges now very carefully and not very quickly but I am able to do them. I just think I struggle with this the most because number one, you have a lot of weight on your toes and number two, they are also very stretched. So I think that's the reason why this exercise in particular is a bit hard for me, but I'm getting there and I'm very, very happy about it. I could probably have done some more stretching and stuff to help with the flexibility over the past year, but I am quite happy with the progress I've made and for example I can jump like normal, I can run like normal. Basically everything else has gone back to how it's been and I'm very happy that I am at this point as of now. Also as I said my toes are still pretty straight, they really haven't gone back to their previous form, that's something that can happen. There is the possibility that the bunion is coming back after surgery but so far crossing my fingers like that. Um, so far everything still looks great and I'm just very very glad about it. I, I can't imagine going through the surgery and then ending up like bunion coming back after a short period of time. So thankfully everything pretty much looks like after the surgery. So my big toe has maybe a slight curve. Um, it's not like straight straight, just 
a smidge of a curve, but that's fine. After the surgery, it looked pretty much the same. So fingers crossed it will stay like that. By the way, in this video, I am actually not going to include any pictures of my feet. Not because I'm shy about it, just because I d did get a few weird messages after my first video. And I felt like in my first video, it was really important to show my feet. <laughs> It's not important, but you know, just so you get an idea how the before and after looked. But in this video, I'm just not going to include any pictures. Um, if you want to have a look at the before and after, go back and check out my previous video because there you can see them. As I said, my foot pretty much looks the same as it did after surgery, just a little bit less swollen. So please excuse that. I hope you can understand. But yes, that's um, why I made that decision. So let's talk about scars. They are there, obviously. <laughs> um, I have a huge, well, not huge, but a big scar on uh, the side of my big toe and a smaller one on the side of my left toe. But I'm going to be honest. I'm okay with it. I don't think you can really tell if you look straight, like if you have a look at your foot from up above, so if I'm standing up and looking at my feet, I really can't see the scars and they are really not that bad. I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. I've seen a few people who actually, the surgery went like on top of their foot, so the scars are on top of their foot. That's uh, something you will definitely notice, but for me in my day-to-day -day life, I really don't see the scars. I really don't mind them too much. So that's all good. Another great thing is after the surgery, I actually had no feeling on the side of my big toe. And that's because they kind of cut through nerves. I'm not a doctor. Maybe they don't cut through nerves. Um, but when they cut it open, the nerves can get damaged a little bit. So after the surgery, I, I was feeling numb on my big toe specifically. And I was a bit worried because the doctor said it can be that these nerves won't heal and you will lose the feeling in that particular part and the numbness is not going to go away. And I, I, I didn't want that. I mean, it's not the end of the world really, but I was hoping for the feeling to come back and it did. <laughs> so very happy about that. I actually do have regained um, the feeling in my big toe, or it was just the side of my big toe, basically. Um, but I'm, I'm very glad that that happened and very grateful that my body healed up like it did. So, so that's good news because it is a risk. Um, and the doctor told me about it before I got the surgery, but I was just hoping that everything went well on that department as well. Let's talk about things that are still giving me trouble. So the only big thing that I'm still struggling with is actually the metal in my foot. So when the surgeon um, corrected my toe, they put in a metal plate that is secured with screws. And that part of my foot is still quite thick and also quite sensitive. So a lot of my shoes I still can't wear because the pressure on that particular part of my foot is just too big and it kind of hurts, to be honest, to wear normal shoes that are like too narrow or that have too much pressure on that part of my foot, which is a shame because I had the foot surgery because I wanted to wear normal shoes and now it hurts. It still hurts, but it's a different place now. So that's also a reason why I went to the doctor to um, confirm whether the metal was the reason why it was still thick and sensitive. And well, he basically said yes. <laughs> that's the reason and for it to go away I will have to get the metal removed. So I, I thought I would get the metal removed eventually anyways. Um, I didn't think that I would have it in my foot for like ever but I was hoping I had a little more time because to be honest I am a bit frightened to go back for any kind of surgery. I know I need to do my right foot as well but right now like Mentally, it takes me a long time to heal. So if I if I think about getting foot surgery, I just the pictures pop up very quickly, and it kind of feels like it's 
been maybe a month since I got the surgery. So I'm really struggling with that. I'm struggling with the thought of getting injections and the pain. And yeah, it, it sounds stupid because it's not the same kind of surgery. They just have to cut up along the scar again and get the metal out. Nothing is going to be broken or has to like heal again other than the skin around it. But it's just mentally it's a lot for me and i know there are going to be people out there who are going to say what is she whining about it's not that bad it's not that difficult of an operation but for me it is something like the mental portion of the surgery is something i am still struggling with and i will get there i will eventually <laughs> be ready to do it but it's it's not now and i am hoping that i'll be ready maybe in autumn or winter this year so i can get the metal removed because in summer you can wear like sandals it's a bit more open your foot isn't like squashed into a shoe as much so i'm hoping that yeah maybe at the end of the year i will be ready to do such a uh, surgery but right now it still feels too fresh and i kind of just panic when I think about getting surgery and in that state I kind of don't want to force it so yes these are the things I'm still struggling with that being said would I still recommend doing the surgery first of all what I want to say deciding to get surgery is entirely up to you and you alone nothing that I say here should change that it's your decision um, so obviously everything I talk about is what I have experienced so if I could take it back would I do the surgery again and the answer is still yes because my foot looks so much better I have noticed when I am wearing shoes <laughs> if I if I can wear like normal shoes the pain on the sides of my feet like where the bunions were is gone there's no redness, there's no pain. The pain is now in a different <laughs> in a different part of my foot, but that is something I can still reverse. So it's not ideal, but it's also not the end of the world. But like the sides of my feet don't hurt. And that's such amazing feeling. It's so great because I have the right foot. My right foot still has a bunion and I can feel the difference between the feet and it is a huge like relief for me to not have this kind of pain anymore on my left foot so yes I would definitely do the surgery again I will have to do that surgery again um, on my right foot eventually I'm not there yet but I will be so yeah I would recommend it my advice if you do decide to do the surgery is really take your time to look for good doctors it's so important to have good people around you who know what they're doing and who will take very good care of you also you need a good support system around you people that can help you after you get home after you had surgery if you're all by yourself it's gonna be really hard because for the first few days you just need someone to help you with with like shopping for food or for even maybe going to the bathroom sometimes or showering or stuff um so that is a very important thing good support system good doctors and also be kind to yourself it's it's so hard i know because i felt like i took such a long time to heal i thought after two months i should be back to normal i should be fine and i wasn't i'm still healing it just takes a lot of time and also people react differently to the surgery some might heal quicker than others i feel like i took a lot of time but I decided to give myself that time because I've been struggling with mental problems after like immediately after getting the surgery and so my decision was I want to be kind to myself and that is exactly what I did and I think that was the right thing for me personally to do so be kind to yourself take your time don't stress about it you will get there in the end all right guys so this was my quick little update i really do hope that you enjoyed this video that you thought this video was helpful as i said these are my own experiences 
yours can be totally different. But I still think that this video will help people out there. And I hope just like the first video, it will give comfort to the people out there who had the same surgery done or even any other surgery, to be honest. So yes, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would be very grateful. I hope you're gonna have a lovely week. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next week's video. Goodbye.